Hi everybody, welcome back to another very, very exciting edition of the DAV Log. That would, that would of course make me the incredibly smart, handsome, talented, and amazing DA video. I'd like to thank all you guys for tuning in and watching me today. So today was quite a day, really. Um, I was going to play Amnesia the Dark Descent, but my, but my microphone has not arrived yet. It should be here tomorrow. And I'm pumped. I am pumped. I am mega, super, super de duper pumped for this headphone and microphone to get here. And it should be here tomorrow at some point in time. And I can't wait. I can't wait, you guys. So I put off playing Amnesia the Dark Descent for that reason. I want to be able to have my microphone. I got fraps. It was working perfectly. And uh, I want my microphone so I can be able to... Uh, you know, make the best quality that I possibly can for the best games. I played The Witch's House, which was fantastic. And I didn't, I don't, I didn't feel the need. My nose is itchy. I didn't feel the need to have a microphone for that game. It would have helped for sure, but I didn't need it. Today I played a good three or four hours of uh, The Crooked Man, and that was amazing. It's another RPG horror game that is a lot like The Witch's House, and by that I mean it is a fantastic, fantastic RPG horror game. Some of those are not the best in the world. Some of them are just wonderful, and The Crooked Man is just wonderful. It is very story-driven. There's a guy named David, like somebody here might be named David, and uh you're going through your life. You had some hard times, but you're trying to pull through with some friends. And you move into an apartment complex that may or may not be haunted. We'll decide. And, uh, it is haunted for the record. But yeah, you're going through and you're trying to make the best of your situation that you're trying to live through. Get your friends to help you out. And one day you find an address and you want to go check it out and see who the former tenant was and why he left. So you set out on an adventure and uh, you, lead to, you, you go to a hotel and a school and you meet some really cool things and people and you see some amazing things and then you see the monster and that monster you guys, that monster gives me the creeps. It's an RPG horror game so it really shouldn't give me the creeps like it does but oh my god it is a creepy creepy monster. You know, what isn't a creepy monster, I guess, right? But this thing, ugh, ugh, I don't want to even think about it, it's just creepy. So, you know, I woke up this morning, I got to sleep in until about 10 o'clock, I watched a little bit of TV. Around 11 o'clock I got some breakfast and I started playing The Crooked Man and I finally finished up around 4. And uh, I've been playing it for quite a while today, you can say that for sure. I got some good parts. I was uh, uploading them to YouTube when suddenly my computer crashed and shut down. And uh, I got to re upload all those things, and that's going to take me the remainder of the night, probably. I'm not entirely sure how long it's going to take. I don't know what's going on with Fraps. It's probably some kind of save mechanism I need to do to change it to make it better. And uh, then I'll be able to fix it and it will go a lot faster because these DAV logs are uploaded in 15 minutes tops. The very, very, very worst 15 minutes tops. But those crafts, and they takes, one of them said it was going to take six, 611 minutes to download or upload. And that's just insane. That's crazy. Because I don't want to be uploading for 10 hours. Doesn't make any sense at all. But What's the guy going to do when he's got his videos to shoot and put up? So I'm going to figure that out. I'm about halfway through The Crooked Man, so tomorrow my plan is to finish the, finish the game up. And uh, it's very, very exciting. Tomorrow at some point while I'm playing The Crooked Man, I'm assuming my microphone and headphones will get here. And then, like I've been saying, we're really going to get rolling. we got some amnesia to play and some other super cool games that I need my microphone and headset for, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be fantastic. So at 4 o'clock I uh, finished up by emptying my dishwasher and 
uh, mow the lawn outside, and it's always good. It's relaxing to mow the lawn for me. I don't know what it is, but I'll do that every day if I need to. It's just some time to be on my phone and think and just relax. So I like it. I like it a lot. After that, we went to dinner. My whole family did. My sister, my parents, and I all went to a really good burger place called Bagger Dave's. And oh my god, they have the best, the best burgers ever. I want to go back. I got to go back. It's just a wonderful place. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place to get some food. So if there is, if there happens to be one near you somewhere, I don't know how big the chain of uh, Bagger Dave's are, but you got to go if there's one near you. It'll be fantastic, I'm telling you. So I got home tonight. I uh, decided I wanted to read a book for a change. So I went through my old... Uh, to see here... I have a cabinet there. It's filled with books. There's a shelf in there, and that's filled with books. I have a bookshelf inside of my closet. And uh, those are filled with books. And I looked through a whole bunch of books, and I finally settled on one of my old favorites that I haven't read in maybe a little over a year. And that book is called The Shining by Stephen King, and it is wonderful. It is a very well-written book, one of the most famous Stephen King books of all time. It's a movie from the 70s that Jack Nicholson was in, and a couple more people who uh, weren't really huge actors and actresses, I'd say, but it was one of the best Stephen King movies I've ever seen, just outside of Shawshank Redemption. But that movie's on a whole other level. It's impossible to beat Shawshank. I read that book, got a hundred pages into it or so, and I am loving it. I'm loving it. It's wonderful. If you guys don't know what The Shining is, I got a little advice for you. You gotta go out and read it. You gotta get out from under that rock you're living under, because it is just a magnificent book. It's about a guy who... It's about a family, I guess. The dad, the mom, and the five-year-old son, Danny. The dad's an alcoholic, former teacher, was fired for a couple of reasons. He ended up taking a job as a hotel caretaker. Moved his family up to Colorado to go do that in the mountains. Suddenly starts snowing and things start breaking down. And they're all the three of them are trapped in this giant hotel all by themselves for six months. Maybe five months. No, no, no. Six months, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. And, uh, so, what are they going to do? They're stuck in there for six months, and it's just the three of them, and they're start the dad's starting to go a little nuts so but so What's going to happen? To figure that out, you guys got to either see the movie or go read the book, and I suggest both, because they're amazing. Stephen King actually made the sequel to that uh, book pretty recently, called Dr. Sleep, about a kid when he's all grown up, and what's going on with his life after the outcome of that horrible event that happened in The Shining. And uh, I tell you guys, I read both of them. In fact, you know, I've been doing a little thinking on my own here. I think every once in a while I want to take some time and read a book on my channel because there are some really, really good books. And I like, I like to come up with ways to talk and uh, scripts to read. I wanted to be an actor. I took drama class in 12th grade, and I fell in love with it. And I went to college originally to learn how to be an actor, and uh, I love the whole acting life. It didn't work out for me, of course, because acting is one of those things that is impossible to get into. So, you know, I decided on teaching, and here I am today, and I love reading. That's why I want to be an English teacher, so maybe I'll read a couple books on here. The Shining, uh, Pet Cemetery, maybe some Harry Potter. Although well, Harry Potter is crazy long. I don't know. We'll figure something out. we got a ways to go. I won't be doing that until I come back from uh, camp, for sure, at the very earliest. Could be some time, too. Uh, but we'll see. You know, it's going to be awesome either way. So that was my day. I texted a very good friend of mine who I think I'm falling for her. You know, she's just an amazing girl. If you go back maybe 10 uh, DAV logs ago, I'm talking about a girl who I kind of, sort of, maybe like. I remember because I worded it so funny. And uh, that's her. I'm really, 
really fallen for this girl. She's a wonderful girl, and I'm crazy about her. Her name's Becky, and she's just the best. She is the best. And that's enough of my love life right now, you guys. I've been, hang I've been talking to her for a few, uh, I guess maybe a month now. I've been texting her every day for a few hours. <laughs> it's funny, I haven't texted for a while. I started texting her, and the last two days I have 115 text messages just between the two of us. So that says something, right? Uh, yeah, she's just a wonderful girl. I'm so, so happy with her. My life is at right now, you guys. I got school coming up, I got a job I finally love. A girl I'm crazy about. Some really cool video games to play. Life is really working out for me. It's all thanks to a little thing called faith, hope, and love. I'll take, I'll blame them 100% of the time. Alright guys, this is all I got to talk about today. I hope you guys had a fantastic day. I'm going to spend some time here uploading seven videos, which is going to take me all night, possibly. <sighs> what you going to do, right? What are you going to do? I'll figure it out. Alright guys, this is BA Video, and I am signing on out of here. You guys take care. Bye-bye.